I am convinced that any woman can squirt. I know it's a big claim, but it's 100% true, right? The thing a lot of guys miss is it's not just the technique, all right? The woman has to be in the right state of mind. She has to be safe, she has to feel fully comfortable, she has to feel a sense of trust, and she has to be fully fucking aroused, right? Think of it this way. You wanna use this technique when she is at the peak of her arousal, right? When she's just like losing her fucking mind and when she's very just surrendered to you, she's really just let go and yeah. And in terms of building that arousal, what you wanna do is you wanna build a lot of anticipation. So you wanna do things like kiss her neck, you like uh, grab the back of her hair, like go to kiss, but you know, neck kiss instead and like tease her and build tension, just like kiss all around her body, like rubber thighs, like things like that that just really ramp up the tension uh, are really good. And then once that is established and she's fully fucking aroused, uh, that's when you want to do it. You could do it before or after penetration. It might be easier after because you've warmed up the G spot, right? Which is the area that you need to stimulate. So as for the technique, this is the front wall, right? Of a vagina and the G spot is what you want to stimulate, which is two knuckles deep. So the length, the distance between the tip of your index finger and your second knuckle, that's roughly where the G-spot will be. It's like a spongy part, right? Hard to fucking miss. So what you wanna do at first is you want to just ease your way into it, right? Massaging that area like that, and then just ramping up the intensity more and more. You're checking in, uh, looking at her, her body, like seeing how aroused she is, uh, where she's at, and based on that, you just keep ramping up the intensity. Um, and then at a certain point when she's like really fucking losing her mind, that's when you lock your fingers in and you pretty much just lift her pelvic floor, right? And you use your arm strength, right? It's pretty much an extreme analogy, but it's like ripping a chainsaw, right? And yeah, and you obviously move going faster and faster, harder and harder, and then, right? Uh, something I like to do too, I like to like grab the back of her hair and just like really go fucking hard, just like stare into her eyes, dominate her. And yeah, that works really fucking well. So yeah, try that out and let me know how you go.